Hello, I'm Luann Kilday, Education Coordinator at the New Mexico Farm and Ranch Heritage Museum. I'm going to take my mask off. I'm here in my garage all by myself, and I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how you can dye wool using your crock pot. And we're going to make something like this. This is a, a braid with three different colors, and you can choose your own colorway. You can do more natural, or you can get more vibrant colors. You can dye wool roving, you can dye yarn, or you can even take a fleece and dye the fleece and then spin it into yarn. So we're using acid dyes today. And with acid dyes, you need a mordant. A mordant is something you add to your, um, to your water. We're gonna use vinegar today. And that helps uh, the dye fix to the wool. Okay, so let me go ahead and tip the camera down. So I have my crock pot. It's on high. It already has hot water in here. And I did splash some vinegar. So we have our mordant. And we're going to put the wool roving, which is right here. And we're going to submerge it into the water. And I have my dyes. I'm going to take a spoonful. And the last color. And then we're going to gently push the roving into the water. We're not going to mix it too much because we want that variegated color. But we want it all to be submerged into the water. We're going to cover it and we're gonna let that sit for about an hour. And what we're looking for is water that's going to be clear. And so once that happens, we can take the roving out, rinse it, let it dry, and then we will have our dyed wool braid. So hopefully you enjoyed my demonstration today. Be safe, be healthy, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.